Please don't move. Stay there. What's going on, psychos? My name is Psycho Less, and welcome to a Let's Play 4 Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Now, I know I'm late to this game, psychos, but uh, Chris White, a longtime psycho of mine, while I was healing after surgery, contacted me, and he would love to see me play this uh, game, make it a series, hopefully. Um... I understand, Psychos, I haven't played a horror game in quite some time, but this doesn't look like a horror game to me. But I know Scott Cawthon can be trolling. <laughs> so what you can do now, Psychos, hopefully, hold my hand, put those headphones on, and let's get through this bitch, damn it. Let's get right to it. Design pizza. Go to pizzeria. I'm gonna design a pizza first. Um, design your pizza. Click toppings to add them to your pizza. All right. What if we went all out? Pepperoni, sausage, onions, mushrooms, olives. There you go. We'll just have a supreme pizza, all right, <laughs> psychos? Let's get on with this. Go to the pizzeria. Okay. What the hell is this? Oh, whoa. Okay, got. Collect these pizzas. Give it to them. Take it in the face. All right. Three pizzas each. All right. More kids. All right. More pizzas. All right. Beautiful. Who's that? Oh, I, I see it. He's blocking me to get the pizza to the kids. All right. Whoever that is, I'm Freddy Fazbear giving pizza to these kids. All right. Well, uh, how am I supposed to? Oh, damn. He seems like distracted if I give him one pizza. All right. Yeah, look at that. Gotcha. Take that. All right, all right. Eat that pizza. All right, one more. I'm assuming. Because three each, right? Take that. In the face. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is this part of the game? <laughs> Hello, baby? Why you look like that? What the? F this game just turned into what the? Hey. Employee 
Only paragraph four. What the hell is this? Got tape on the place. Begin tape. Leaving dead space. Three, two, one. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. Holy goodness! Look at that, psychos! Document results. Audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Oh my goodness! Is this part of the game like we we gotta play peekaboo? Hi! Ah! Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Ah! It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it, and that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus Revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for I it. I can reduce and that brings casualties. Us to what the hell? Liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware so that as buying is, things you on might sale die. Comes what with the a hell? certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. Do you hear this? This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride, and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. <laughs> what the hell? How to? Step guide, or something? Okay. Use catalog mode, purchase items, all right. And I'm trying some other supplies. Blue, what? Use blueprint mode. Create items. Okay. All right, so we buy it by that, and then we put it in a blueprint. All right, so basically it's like a um, simulator. Basically, 
like a tycoon. But what was that baby stuff? Let's get started. Let's get started. Day one. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great. That should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Okay. What was the first one? We got Balloon Barrel. Discount Ball Pit. Liability risk is one. Whoa. Paper cups and plates. Okay. So I got a hundred dollars. Got a stage. Sanitation. Other things. Oh, that, that's all we can buy for now. Let me see blueprint mode. All right, WASD. Okay. Go back to the catalog. All right. Um, I guess I'll buy one of this. All right. Sold out. The liability li 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 risk is one, but that looks like a fun entertainment. I'm just 30 bucks. And this is five bucks. All right. Um, how about I buy the... Discount ball pit. All right, forty dollars left, and buy paper cups and plates. Okay, go back to blueprint. All right. All right. Let's put the. Oh, right. how about I put that right there? Okay. Put the right there. Okay. Upgrade your oh, upgrade this room to a larger floor plan for two fifty. I don't even have that much money. Okay. All right. Let's. I guess. Uh. Maybe we can play test. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get him in the in the ball pit. All right. There you go. Beautiful. 200. Oh, God. Why does that sound like that? Breaking his neck or something? Four hundred, okay. Is that it? Yeah, five tries, okay. Okay, that took away a token. I saw to 10 tokens before. Okay. Um, 
I guess open shop. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. I can that see that problem, or hear it. There's nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Oh my goodness. Uh. Okay. Uh. Oh, let's take it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's get Let's get Yeah, let's get a feel. Oh, my goodness. Alright, someone's actually rising, what's up? What the hell? Okay, hang on. Holy goodness, I can't already stop flies. Tool. Oh, wait. Oh my goodness, I gotta hold this. Do what? End my day. I gotta stay on the screen. Alright, this is creeping out here. The lights flickering and all that stuff. Oh my goodness, I know it's gonna log off. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now That's let's just focus cycle. on Come getting on. you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Oh, boy. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your Thank job you. isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much-needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. Okay, During the testing was, uh... phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, 
If you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Okay, throw it back in the alley. That means that we're not going to make any money. Proceed with the salvage. And basically that was a tutorial. How to play peekaboo. I'm assuming... These things going to move or something? Oh my goodness. 500. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company as your taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. Okay. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in oh. three, two, one. I saw that move. Come on, yes, do that. It's playing peekaboo, damn it! Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Stop moving. I only got three, right? Document results. Begin audio prompt oh, in three, God. two, one. I gotta take a chance. I only got one left. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three. Uh. Please don't move. Stay there. Why is this one longer? Ah! Document results. <laughs> you have completed the maintenance checklist. <laughs> proceed with the salvage. Well is that done. it? End tape. Oh my goodness. Thanks for letting me join the party. I'll try not to disappoint. Wait a minute, did I do good or not? No loss, it's okay. Alright, I got $721. Stage for one light animatronic. Warning! Purchasing a bulky item in this condition comes with a significant risk of something undesirable hiding inside. What the hell? Condition is terrible! What the hell is... Liability is two. Oh man! Bucket Bob! Unavailable. Why? Mr. Can Do? <laughs> Unavailable as well. Come on, why? Mr. Hugs. Ah! 
Number one crate. Pan stand. All right, beautiful. Also unavailable. Paper bows. Paper pals. Excuse me. I'll buy this. Oh, I'm at. Yeah. Five bucks. Why not? Oh God. Um. Well, all right, there are the purple paper bows right there, and the fans on top of there. Okay, all right. Upgrade for two fifty. The floor plan. No, I mean it looks. Kind of uh, like all woody. What did I just say, man? All woody. All right. Um. I guess this will complete part one, psychos of uh the Let's Play Four Five Nights at Freddy's uh or excuse me, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Ria Simulator. Also known as Five Nights at Freddy's Six. Um, I don't know, psychos. It is a little creepy about playing peekaboo with the animatronics. I saw a baby, uh, like a customized baby, and then uh, that was the um, um, what was that? Bear from uh, also Sister Location. I forgot the name of Fun Time Fredbear, I think. All jacked up. I don't know, it's like us. <laughs> but anyway, this will complete uh, part one, I would say, for this game. If you have enjoyed it, let alone my take upon it so far, make sure to smack that like button in the face like the psycho you are. Share and comment down below of what you thought about this game. So far, or my take upon it, and any other recommendation games and challenges you want me to do along with the puzzle. As always, it really goes a long way, and it shows me you want more. Thank you so much for watching, Psychos. Join my click for more by subscribing to my channel and forever become Psycho. Let's go! What is everything looking right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Great. Not there. It looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime Auditorium. What? There is no need to check on Baby tonight. Please refrain from entering unauthorized areas. Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. Alright, like I said, I'm gonna do the total opposite of what this guy is saying. I'm gonna go into Baby. Pause. <laughs> Alright. Get right into that. Boom, damn it. There's some 